Taurus, this is quite an intense week for you. You're determined to push ahead. In fact, you may be a little bit too determined. You've come to a point where maybe you feel pushed to breaking point and you will have your say. Be careful because Mercury is still retrograde and we've got a couple of little kind of intense rah, 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 rah kind of transits with the Sun Square Mars on the 3rd. Uh, you might find that you want to take control of a group or an enterprise or or you want to make prove a point on uh, social media or on the internet and you're feeling very strong about it, but there may be some opposition. You may feel that somebody's undermining you and you will have your say. Be careful and whatever you do, don't seek revenge. You've got a very kind of intense energy around you at the moment and you don't suffer fools gladly. Please wait, if you can, until the end of December when energy is much clearer. Yes, Mercury is going direct on the 6th and you're feeling there's a lot more balance coming into your personal relationships. You're willing to compromise more. You're probably and hopefully seeing other people in your lives compromise more and you feel much more on an even keel. Having said that, the new moon, which is fantastic because it's all about you stepping into another layer of power you might be thinking about investing in your future. You might be thinking about creating wealth. Um, but again, that moon is square Mars, connected to your social sector, connected to a group of people, or maybe there's some people you hang around who have an opinion of what you should and shouldn't do, and you're not really having it. On the other hand, there might be a new group of people around you or a part of that group of people that you feel very in tune with on a spiritual level. And there could be a spiritual revelation or even the meeting, meeting someone and having a really intense connection or conversation with them. And it could change your destiny. It could be a soul conversation. But be warned when Mars conjuncts Neptune, there can be illusions as well. So basically, you've got to keep it together this week. Be bold within your thinking, but be clever about what you say. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed, or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.